Dark Side Phil here, and welcome to the weekend preview for March 4th, 2012. Huge week. I am so pumped. I hope that everyone else is as excited as I am for com what's coming this week, and I think everyone knows what's coming this week. But let's first, as we usually do, set back a little bit, talk a little bit about what happened in the past week with the stuff that I've been up to in the past week, for those of you who missed it, and then we'll talk about what's coming up. The big bombshell for this week, the one that's going to really, I think, uh, be a great entry for the year. I am very excited. So, okay. This past week was an interesting week. Another wide variety of stuff that I got done. Um, a lot of the stuff that I actually didn't plan on doing and I had time to kind of throw in. So, on Monday, I completed Syndicate, um, the single-player playthrough of Syndicate. And also, I was able to try out... The Saints Row the Third DLC, Gangsters in Space, which previously I hadn't had time to do the week before when it was released, so I'm glad that I got uh, a chance to do those here on DSP Gaming. Ah, on Tuesday, a couple new retail releases came out. We had SSX and Binary Domain, so I actually did some gameplay of SSX on Tuesday. Now, let's address the elephant in the room okay and get this cleared out so that we can talk about what's coming up because I really I think it's a little bit of controversy got caused with my playthrough of SSX if you don't know basically what happened was I played about I think it's like maybe 30 something parts into it and then I started raging because I was failing so much and then I quit the game okay and it's rare everyone knows it's rare when I quit a game I mean in the how many years I've been on YouTube now I think I started in what 2008 you figure so 2009, 10, 11, 12, in the three and a half, maybe four years I've been on YouTube, how many games realistically have I quit? And some people started calling them out. Oh, Skate 2, Amy, Dark Souls, and there's maybe another small handful. So probably under 10 total games out of the over 20,000 videos that I've made on YouTube, oh, under 10 games have I ever quit. And now SXX has made the list. So let's address this. I was playing the World Tour mode of SSX, which is the mode where you go through all the different stages of the game and you unlock different uh, dangerous mountains and the goal is to beat like nine dangerous mountains or something like that by the end of the game. And um, a combination of things is really why I quit the game, but when it comes down to it, I'm just bored, okay? To be honest with everyone, I played SSX on Tuesday and I played it for maybe three hours or so. And after that, I just kind of sat down. I was like, I'm kind of bored. It's pretty much kind of the same thing over and over. You're either going to do a race or you're going to do a, a, a score rank ranking match where you try to get the highest score doing tricks. And then you're going to go to a dangerous mountain with some kind of a hazard, whether it's thin air, whether there's an avalanche chasing you and you beat it. And I was just, I don't know. It's, I guess, I guess when it really comes down to it, this kind of extreme sports game is not my cup of tea. I just wasn't having fun really playing. Even when, not even when I was failing, but even when I was succeeding, I really wasn't having that much fun after the first hour or so. I was starting to get bored. And so during the course of the week, I was doing other stuff and kind of put it off. And then finally I played SSX again some on Sunday, and I just got frustrated playing it, and I was bored, and I just didn't want to play it anymore. And the bottom line is... This is my channel, okay? This is my YouTube channel. I've always said that I'm going to do what I want to do on it. I'm not going to let anyone pressure me into doing stuff that I don't want to do. And don't get me wrong, people have suggested things that I've tried. SSX was one of them. A lot of the games that I tried last year, like FIFA, like Madden, like NBA 2K12, like this Gaia, like Catherine. These were all games that I never really tried those genres of games before. And I decided that for the first time I would. And some of them, to my pleasant surprise, I really did enjoy and I had a lot of fun. And some of those playthroughs are really good and funny. Unfortunately, SSX was one of these that was a bust. And it's going to happen. It's not always going to be perfect. You're not, I'm not always going to find a game that I love to play on my channel. And there are going to be times when eventually I'll find games when I really don't like this one that much. I'm going to stop playing it. That's the case with SSX. I'm really not having that much fun with it, so I've decided to discontinue the playthrough. If you have problems with that, too bad. And for people who don't understand, listen, I have not changed since day one. Since day one, I rage whenever I play a game, especially if I'm failing. I say the game sucks and this and that. I've done this since day one. Now, it, it, it seems, because now I have such a wide fan base, people get mad if it's a, they, a game that they feel is good, and I rage on it and say that it sucks, this is bullshit or whatever, okay? SSX very well may be a good game if you're a snowboarding fan, if you've been into the series before. I wouldn't know because this is the first SSX game I've ever played, but what I can tell you, I don't like it. I'm not having fun. I'm bored out of my mind. 
Now the game's starting to get a little bit more difficult and tedious and repetitive where you have to replay the same stages over and over, figure out where the hazards are and avoid them. I'm not playing it anymore. I'm bored. I'm done. Okay? So when I say the game sucks, to me it sucks because I'm not having fun and I'm bored. To someone else, it might not suck. So for people to be on the comments of a video freaking out because I said the game sucks, I mean, first of all, where the fuck have you been for the past four years? I've always done that. And you need to understand the perspective of someone who doesn't agree with you. Okay? So that's it. I played SSX. 32 parts. By the way, I definitely recommend everyone do watch the last part because I just rewatched it myself and I fucking cracked up at how hilarious it is that I'm flipping out and some of the epic fails that I just in that video. There's one part where my guy goes off a, the deepest crevice I've ever seen in my life and he's going crazy doing tricks. He's got the board above his head and he's fucking spinning it all around and he's fucking got it behind his back and he's doing all kinds of crazy shit and then he just disappears and dies. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like the like 15 seconds of him doing tricks and then just dies. It's so funny. It's like he was going out with a bang. He knew he was going to die. So he's like, I got to do the best fucking string of tricks I could ever pull out of my ass right now. <laughs> so definitely check out the last video of that playthrough, okay? In addition to that, I played Binary Domain this week, which, in my opinion, had the potential to be a sleeper hit. Unfortunately, I think Sega just doesn't know what the fuck they're doing with the, the timing of the release of their games. This game is a unique combination of third-person shooter gameplay, similar to that of Gears of War and Mass Effect. Um, Role-playing game gameplay, being able to pick what characters are in your party, being able to put on different uh, enhancers on your characters to make them stronger or better in certain areas and actual dialogue options. I mean, this is the first third-person shooter I think I've ever picked that lets you choose your dialogue in the game, and it can actually affect the game. So, it's a really interesting game. Now, it does have some flaws, and in my Hateful Truth review of the game, I did talk about those flaws and explain why I couldn't give it a great, great score, but I still think it's a game people worth, uh, it's worth checking out. Problem being, Sega decided to release the game one week before Mass Effect 3. So if you have a choice between a new IP, a game that really didn't get publicized that much, you didn't hear too much about it, no one's really talking about it, or Mass Effect 3, which fucking game are you going to pick? And the same thing happened with Vanquish in 2010 when they released Vanquish the same day as Fallout New Vegas. It's a good game, but of course it doesn't stand a chance. So again, I don't know what Sega's thinking with their... Their, uh, their timing, but if you want to watch a pretty fun and interesting playthrough, watch Binary Domain. I really liked that game. Okay. Then I also did the Assassin's Creed Revelations DLC, The Lost Archive, which was more puzzle-based than anything else. It actually was the puzzle gameplay from Assassin's Creed Revelations that Desmond was experiencing in those archive uh, side missions in the game. Well, it's basically two hours of puzzling gameplay, but it answers a lot of the plotline questions that people had uh, with, Mass, uh, with, with Mass Effect, with Assassin's Creed, including the backstory of Subject 16 and also the fate of Lucy and what happened to Lucy and why Lucy was attacked by uh, Desmond at the end of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which was never explained in Assassin's Creed Revelation. So definitely worth checking out if you don't want to play through it yourself, being that it's $10 for two hours of gameplay, maybe you just want to watch the playthrough, you know what I mean? So, check that out. Uh, some other things. I did another episode of DSP Tries It this week. This one, I, re I reviewed the custom Laser Mods controller that Laser Mods had made for me. Um, and uh, I had, there were some pros, some cons, and I was honest, so check that out. Um, and then, also, just so everyone knows, there's a third episode of DSP Tries It that I just uploaded, like, right before this video. And that one actually reviews a energy drink. So check that out. Uh, that I've been drinking just the past couple of weeks. So I have some interesting things to say about it. So check out that. DSP Tries It. Okay. John Rambo came over on Saturday. We did a new episode of Smart Guys that's up over on his channel. We also did a... We continued the co-op playthrough of X-Men Legends. We still haven't beaten the game because the game's insanely freaking long, so it's looking, it's looking like it's going to take another co-op session for us to beat it. But more parts of that playthrough are up on DSP Gaming in the playlist for X-Men Legends. And I think it's funny because we're really we're cracking jokes. We know a lot about the X-Men characters as well, so we're able to crack jokes about their abilities, their backstories and such. And I think it's a pretty fun playthrough. Whether or not you're a fan of the game, if you're a fan of the X-Men, I think it's a pretty fun playthrough. So definitely take a look at that. 
Um, and then there were some special videos that I did this week. Um, first of all, there was a batch of five gameplay videos of the new Xbox Live Arcade game Nexus, which is a throwback to old arena-style uh, Twitch, I think they call them Twitch shooters or Twitch FPS games. It plays a lot like Unreal Tournament. Um, and really, I liked Unreal Tournament and Unreal Tournament 2 when they came out. I thought they were really good games, and it really feels like a throwback to those games. Now, in this case, I actually had the exclusive... Uh, I was given exclusive access to the game early. And obviously, no one was playing it online because the game wasn't out yet, but I was able to play the game against a couple bots. Um, this was all because I'm a Machinima partner. Machinima gave me this special opportunity to check out this game. So I did, and I did a five... A uh, five-video, like, limited series showing how to play this game against bots and showing off some of the stages and game modes of this game. And then as a promotion, I was actually able uh, to give away three free copies of this game to some lucky fans who followed me on Twitter at they call me DSP. And that all happened on Wednesday, and I want to say thank you to Machinima for allowing me to participate in that. It's really cool that I got to give that, that out to the fans uh, <clears throat> who are dedicated and, you know, who, you know, finally they kind of got something back for their time for watching my video, so... That was one special thing. Now, another thing that I had no plans on doing, but I ended up doing, was a two-video two series on what's going on currently in the fighting game community. There's been a lot of drama over the past week regarding the fighting game community because of some sexist things that happened during the Cross Assault web reality series this past week. I'm not going to get into it here. I've already said my piece. If you want to see what... I have to say about it in addition to that, but also giving background to the fighting game community, how it started in arcades, how it grew into a competitive community, and some of the mentality of the people in that community because of that. Definitely check out that two-episode series here on DSP Gaming. Um, I think it's really important that people understand what's going on uh, and get the real story on what's going on rather than just listening to either one side or the other side. I have a unique perspective being kind of in the middle. So definitely take a look at that if you haven't already. Um, a lot of people have found some pretty good insight in those videos, okay? So all that plus I did a Hateful Truth review of my very first uh, portable game for the PS Vita. It was Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Of course, I'm not allowed to show you any gameplay of that because it's all on a handheld and there's no way to right now to put that handheld gameplay on a TV so I can record it, but I was able to review the game once I beat it. It's the first game I beat for my PS Vita, so check that Hateful Truth review out as well. So that was a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that I did in this past week. So now let's talk about this coming week. I'm ex very excited for this coming week for one particular reason, but anyway. Monday is going to be a slow day, and the reason I say this is because I really have nothing left over from this past week to do. I ended up skipping the Final Fantasy XIII 2 DLC that originally I thought I might do because I found out it's just fucking playing Texas Hold'em, okay? Which is a waste of money. And I thought of a couple other things that I may be able to do to do some things on Monday with, like Phoenix Wright, um, Justice for All, the final case. However, that case is extremely long. I doubt I'd be able to beat it in one day, and doing all that voice acting will probably make my voice hoarse, which I don't want to do because of Tuesday's release, which we're going to talk about. So that's how. I didn't want to start Kingdoms of Ammo or Reckoning because I don't want to only play it for a day and then have to put it on the shelf for, for you know, however long. So that's going to be a game that for when I have several days to go through it, that I'll be doing that one. But So that's off the, you know, the list of stuff. So I started thinking about games that I hadn't done some modes of. I said, that's right, UFC Undisputed 3, I have not played online. In fact, I don't even know how the online play works if you can pick a character. Like, can I pick Forrest Griffin and try to use him online? Is Forrest Griffin online even going to play anything like he did in my playthrough of his career mode? Because remember, I was customizing him during the gameplay, so I have no idea. So there's a possibility I may do some UFC Undisputed 3 online, or I may do something completely different and off the wall. I thought about doing fan appreciation, but... Unfortunately, for fan appreciation, usually it makes sense to do it later on in the day, so that way I can have people on the West Coast and all throughout the United States who can participate, and then usually it makes sense to do it earlier in the day for people who are like in Europe and international, but because of what's happening on Tuesday, I don't have that flexibility, and I'll explain why in a second, so... Fan appreciation was out, so I'm going to think of something to do on Monday. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be something cool. And so definitely check out whatever I do on Monday, okay? 
Tuesday is huge. Tuesday is Mass Effect 3, and I just wanted to get to say it eventually, get it out there. Mass Effect 3, six years in the making. If you want to know my honest opinion, one of my most anticipated games of the year for me, one of the most anticipated games of my life, because I have been there along for the ride. Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, loved both of those games. I can't wait for the conclusion of this trilogy. I am so psyched. I can't wait to see who returns, because remember, there's been characters that they've been hinting at returning, and no one really knows if they're going to return or not. No one is even sure of the final people who are going to be a playable characters in your party. I'm so psyched. I can't wait. I'm fucking, like... So I wish it was today. I wish it came out today, because I want to play it so bad. So, I did just get word earlier today that my local GameStop is doing a midnight release, so the good news is I will be getting the game at midnight on Monday or, I guess, Tuesday. It's considered technically once it, hit, once it hits midnight. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to pick up the game. I'm going to come home, do an unboxing video like I always do. I'm going to get right to playing and right to uploading. So probably about like between 3 and 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on, uh, on Tuesday, you're going to be start to see Mass Effect 3 being uploaded to DSP Gaming, and I'm fucking going to play the hell out of this game. I'm going to treat it just like I treated the, the, the previous Mass Effect 2. I'm going to treat it like I treated Skyrim. I'm going to play the fuck out of it until I feel that I've done enough that I can beat the game. I'm not sure how the side missions work in this game, if there's an unlimited amount, or if there's a set amount like there were in Mass Effect 2, but I'm going to play the hell out of it uh, and enjoy it you know, fully, and give it as much time as it needs to be experienced fully, because it really, I think it deserves it. Again, the end of an era for me, like, this was an era of gaming. This was, like, the, the P PS3 slash Xbox 360 era of games. Mass Effect was one of the best trilogies during this era, and I cannot wait to get my hands on this game and to experience it one more time and, and close off this story. So, as I said, that you'll start to see that uh, Tuesday here on DSP Gaming. I'm going to play the hell out of it. Now, at the same time... Street Fighter Cross Tekken comes out on Tuesday as well. And for me, those are the two biggest releases of the week. Now, originally, I, I looked on my calendar earlier today. Originally, when I reserved games like two months ago, they were saying that a couple other games were coming out this Tuesday, including Ghost Recon Future Soldier, including Game of Thrones, and also including... Uh, oh, Silent Hill HD Collection. <laughs> So let me get this straight. Silent Hill HD Collection, which was supposed to come out in January, gets delayed. Now, it's an HD collection. Gets delayed two months, and now it comes out the same week as Mass Effect 3. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. Like, worst possible timing to release. One of the biggest releases of the year. Let's delay a HD rehash collection to that week. What a bunch of fucking morons. But I digress. That's not the point. There were supposed to be all those other games coming out. Oh, also this week, supposedly, MLB 2K12 and, I think, MLB The Show both come out this week. I'm not positive on that. But here's the thing. I'm going to focus on Mass Effect 3. I'm going to play the hell out of it. And then I will also be playing some Street Fighter Cross Tekken over on my fighting game channel, DSP Street Fighter. That's the footage you're going to see Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week. And that's all you're going to see. Mass Effect 3 here on DSP Gaming. Street Fighter Cross Tekken over on TSP Street Fighter, and that's it. Any other games, in my opinion, this week are secondary to those two and unfortunately need to be put on the back burner. It doesn't mean I'm not going to buy them if they're out, but they're going to remain on the back burner until I get through those two games because I think they're the biggest releases of this week. Now, you might be saying, well, what do you mean, Phil, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? What about the rest of the week? You know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Well, this weekend is the weekend that I'm actually going to spend with my girlfriend, Panda Lee. She's going to be here. And so while she's here, we're going to continue our playthrough of Ratchet and Clank All for One. Hopefully we'll beat the game. Again, I'm not sure how long it is, but we're definitely going to be playing more of that and probably beat it, I'm hoping. And then also on Sunday, Mario Party 9 comes out, and I think that would be a, a cool game to try out with her. And not to say that I'm only going to play that game with her. Keep in mind, you know, John Rambo and I are always looking for co-op stuff too, so there's a possibility that we might play some of that later on as well. But I think... In order to play, because it comes out on Sunday, if the weird times that these fucking Wii games come out, it comes out on a Sunday, I think it would make sense to play it with her. It would be a cool kind of party game to, to play. So you may see some gameplay of that as well this weekend. So the plan for this week, something random on Monday that I'll figure out. Mass Effect 3, starting roughly 3, 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here 
on DSP Gaming. You'll see the unboxing video much earlier than that, around probably like 1 a.m., so check that out. That will be continuing here on DSP Gaming. Street Fighter Cross Tekken over on DSP Street Fighter all week until, you know, the end of Thursday. Starting on Friday, you're probably going to see Ratchet and Clank All for One continue, if not complete, over the course of Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, you might, and you know, I'm, not, I'm not saying 100%, but there's a strong chance you'll see Mario Party 9 gameplay with myself and Panda Lee. And then I'll probably be back late on Monday to do a week in preview and tell you all about the games that are coming out the week after. I'm hoping, because I am dedicating so much time to this, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to beat Mass Effect 3 by the end of Thursday. I don't see why not. I think that it's going to be a game where I'm going to be able to sit down, play it for like, you know, maybe eight hours that first day, take some breaks, play it some more, and within the course of the two to three days, I'll be able to, to go through it sufficiently, do all the side content, and beat it. So... I'm fucking so excited and pumped to play it. I'm just, I'm like on edge. I'm wired right now. I just want to fucking play it so bad, and I can't wait for it to come out. I hope everyone else is just as pumped as they are to see my playthrough, because I really felt that the Mass Effect 2 playthrough was a really good playthrough. I think a lot of people agree, and uh, I hope that people are getting that hype back. What I feel, unfortunately, and I knew this was going to be a side effect of me doing this as a full-time job, is that because I'm putting out so many videos, it dilutes everything, and so it's hard for people to get excited like they used to about a particular playthrough because you always know there's something else coming around the bend. And for example, you know, I just played Binary Domain, SSX, all these games. Previously, I would be on here hyping up, by the way, guys, next week, Mass Effect 3, and there's probably no, you know, maybe just have some a couple random Street Fighter videos here or there, but Mass Effect 3 is where it's at, and everyone would just say Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 3. Now it's like, people are hyped for it, but I don't think they get as hyped as they used to because of the nature of the beast of me, what I'm doing, me putting out so many videos. So, if anything, I would say, I'm excited for Mass Effect 3. I hope that you can get excited as excited about it as I am, and that together we can really enjoy this experience, you know, the last game in the trilogy, together, and uh, I hope they blow it out of the water. Fingers crossed that this really has a great ending, and it really closes out the story solidly, and they don't try to fucking have some DLC in six months to actually end the story, because if they do that, I'm going to take my table, and I'm going to snap the fucking thing in half, and you're going to see wooden shards flying all over my condo, because I really want them to do this right. This game deserves it. The story deserves it. Bioware can be hit or miss. The end of Dragon Age 2, I'm still fucking pointing a finger at those assholes, so they better, I really hope that they do a good job with this. And I'm excited, and I hope you're as excited as I am for the playthrough. All right, so that's the week in preview. It's been a really long one. Covered a lot of stuff. Hope I cleared up a lot of questions. Hope it made, a lot of stuff makes sense now. I hope you're just excited as I am for this week coming up. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys for gameplay this week. Let's do this.